let's take this question from Sam Wilson. Fiber optics on drones, what's your opinion? So what Sam Wilson is talking about is something like this. Um, if I go to AliExpress, and um, let's see here. Uh, I don't know why that's there. I don't know why that's there. That has nothing to do with me. All of this other stuff, this watch-related stuff, clearly that's targeted at me based on my shopping history. This, I don't know why. Uh, that's that's just a coincidence. Every other thing you see on this page, <laughs> a solder station. Oh, see, this has nothing to do with me. Watches. All targeted exactly at me. I deny any knowledge of why there is an Iliana anime figure. I don't know who that person is. It's a coincidence. Seriously, I don't. Who is it? Anyway. Um, okay, that's not... Hello. Really? Really? There we go. There we go. What you're asking about is something like this. Let me just zoom this in slightly. Um, this is a fiber optic cable that you install on a drone, like so. There we go. And, oh God, please, let's, let's take this picture. Okay. Open a new, open a new. No, I can't do that. Oh, my God. Can I just, thank you. Okay, don't click. Don't move your mouse. Don't do anything. Um, you install it on the drone, and then a uh, ground unit wires up to your goggles and your controller, your hand controller, and your video and your control link go over the fiber optic cable. The drone flies away, and as it flies away, the fiber optic cable pays out, right? So people imagine that there's like a fishing spool on the ground, and it it rolls out as the drone flies away and the drone has to pull the, and they ask what happens if the fiber gets snagged? That's not how it works. The spool is on the drone and as the drone flies, the fiber pays out. And if the fiber gets snagged, big deal, just more of it pays out. Okay. So the advantage of this is that there is perfect video. You don't fail safe. You cannot fail safe unless the fiber optic cable gets damaged or severed or cut in some way. You can fly literally anywhere. That's kind of cool. Um, a disadvantage. But number one, the damn thing is heavy. The exact weight depends on, usually there's a like a chart here that shows the weight. I don't see it. Uh, the, 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 the damn thing's heavy. The exact weight depends on how long the spool is. The spools are from like one kilometer to, I've seen them advertised 20 or 30 kilometers. Um, and the spools weigh between, say, 500 grams and two and a half kilograms. Pretty substantial weight, depending on how far you want to go. They're expensive. They're not cheap. Although, this seems like it's excessively, that seems more, that's more expensive than I think they usually are. I could be wrong. Yeah, there you go. 10 kilometers. Let's see. Only, yeah, here we go. Two kilometers. Yeah, 200 bucks for a two kilometer spool. That doesn't include the ground station, though. Anyway. Um, they're heavy, so you're going to carry a lot of extra weight. And of course, you're leaving this damn fiber optic cable behind you wherever you go. So, uh, like number one, it's a mess, right? You wouldn't want to do this. Or I've thought about getting one of these and like testing it out for my channel because it's kind of cool. But like I wouldn't leave a fiber optic line all over my neighborhood and I don't think I would. Only one left. I have only one left. I, well, I have to check out real quick. Only one left. Okay, I, I, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll do that after. That's probably more than one left. I'll bet there's more than one left. <laughs> they almost got me. Um, the other thing is that it, you couldn't do... I don't think you could do, like, acro freestyle stuff with this because the, the cable will... If you do, like, a, a, a snap roll or something, the cable will probably get snagged in your props. So you're going to fly relatively sedately. Um, so what do I think about it? I mean, for, for most use, it's completely unacceptable because you leave fiber optic cable all over the place, right? That's just rude. 
You're going to leave 10 kilometers of fiber optic cable all across the landscape. Who's going to clean that up? Um, the place where it's being used, obviously, is places where it's being used in Ukraine, for example, right? Where, like, yeah, well, we're, we're doing a lot of things that are going to leave an impact on the landscape. Uh, and uh, that's just the consequences of fighting a war. So, yeah. So, I, 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 you know, I've seen videos of dudes walking through these fields and just, just, there's just spider webs of fiber optic cable all over the field from all the drones that have flown overhead. It's crazy. Um, I think like at the end of World War II, there were places in Europe where it had so many landmines that you couldn't go there anymore. And people had to figure out how to clean up the landmines. Well, the good news is that leftover fiber optic cable doesn't explode. It's just an environmental hazard. Like I think of like these combines, like if, if someday the, the war is over and people are farming those lands, right? You're, you're going to be freaking, your tractor's going to get all snagged in this stupid fiber optic cable. What the frick? I don't know. Um, but uh, there you go. Mm. Um, it's a big deal, though, because uh, it means that you can't be detected, number one. So if you're flying a drone in the air with a video transmitter, other people can detect that you're there. And obviously, in warfare, stealthiness matters. Uh, you get a fiber optic spool. Well, you could still maybe pick up the audible signature of the drone, but but it's, you're not going to pick up the radio signature. And then number two, you can't be jammed. So like, it's pretty nice. Anyway, what do you think about it? I think for hobbyists, it's a non it's a non starter. Like theoretically, a hobbyist or a, or a professional, a commercial operator, you could use this to do something like like tunnel inspection, right? You could inspect a tunnel network or, or maybe pipeline inspection. And you have like a little rover or a little tracked vehicle and you drive it through the pipe and you pay out a fiber optic cable. And then when you're done, you kind of just reel it back in. I don't know exactly what you do and you clean it up afterwards. But for, for typical, you know, use, it's just, it's a non-starter. Anyway, 